fine so in this video i'll show you how we can deploy the war file which we have just created so go to the location just copy this location from here you have to navigate to the specified folder inside this folder you will get the war file which you have created with the help of maven so copy this and it's really very easy to deploy application in wildfly environment so you have to go to now let's go to wildfly it's there inside this kamunda folder i am having kamunda bpm wildfly now inside this you will get a folder okay uh, you can remember i have already started the server in my previous example so i am not starting it again in your case if you have not started in that case just double click on this start kamunda file it will start the server now let's go to the server folder and inside server folder you will get wildfly 10.1. something inside this you will get a folder named as standalone now let's come to the standalone folder inside this standalone you will get deployments if you have done installation with uh, eclipse uh, manually sorry uh, with apache tomcat manually in that case you can just recall that you have you would have done similar type of things so now inside this what you need to do you need to say right click and then you have to paste it now look at here I have already pasted this and a file will be created hello world war dot deployed if it is not deployed in that case you will get a file hello war undeployed now let's go to the server log console you can find here hello world deployed hello world dot war so now you can say that it's really very easy to deploy the application war file in Kamunda Wildfly environment. In my next video, I'll show you that how we can access the application from the cockpit. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Let's go to the next video.